I'm getting ready to film a video featuring the Spanish bowline, and this is the camera arm I like to use. The only problem is when I overextend it, it likes to fall over. And so the plan is to take an anvil and hang it underneath to add more weight to the stand. And wouldn't you know it, the Spanish bowline is gonna to come to the rescue again. There's a couple ways to tie a Spanish bowline. One is if you're able to access both ends of your rope. I'll find the midpoint and then I'll form two bites and roll them inward. And I wanna make sure that I'm paying attention to this little triangle window here. With that window, I'm gonna gather my two ends, go from behind, bring them around the top, and then I'll poke those two ends through the window. Once I pull everything tight, I end up with my Spanish bowline. A great feature with this bowline is I'm able to adjust the size of either loop by pulling on this bottom rope here. Now I have big loop, small loop, and that's gonna become important later. Now what if you don't have access to both ends of your rope and you wanna tie a Spanish bowline at the very end? So here's the end of my rope and here's the hank. I'm gonna take a bite of my rope and then fold in two more bites. I'll rotate those inward. This bite on the right hand side is gonna pass through the bite on the left. Now I'm gonna take both these bites and I'm gonna rotate them towards me. This little loop here, I wanna fold it back down. And part of the reason this is difficult to tie is because you're fighting the plating of the rope. Now I have this loop down here. This portion of this loop is gonna go through the front of this window, and then this side is gonna go through the left window. So go down here, I'll grab this portion, and I'll pull it through. Over here, I'll pull this one through. We'll just adjust the laying of our rope. There we go. And now you can see we have our Spanish bowline. Same thing, we can pull on this bottom rope to adjust the lengths of the loops. Now once this is clamped down, the lengths of the loops will not adjust. It'll be so tight that you can't pull in any slack on either direction. And that's because as we pull tension on this rope, it'll pull down on the loop. So let me show you, I'll pull, it doesn't adjust. Let's try this one, pull, it doesn't adjust. Okay, let's tie up our Spanish bow line around our anvil now. This time I'm gonna do it battle speed. So you can see how quickly it can actually be tied. There we go. Now we have to adjust these loops so that they're long enough to hook on one side of the anvil and then the other. So I'm just going to feed in some more. If I run out of space on the short end, I can simply pass it through the long end because again, the rope down here is adjustable. So let's bring in more length in. There we go. All right. Hook it on, barely, barely, there we go. I don't want this to slip off, so I'm going to pull the extra length back out. Which rope is it? There it is. Okay. But now if I lift this anvil, you can see it's just a little bit off. Here, let me adjust the camera so you can see. See, when I lift it up, it's not exactly level. And so I can adjust that by shortening the loop on this side. I'll simply pull it. Let's loosen it up a little bit. There we go. All right, now we're off-centered. Let's lift it up again. There we go. I think I might have done it too much. And with a few adjustments, we can make our anvil completely level. And for the other end, let's not forget the regular bowline. Just make a loop, pass it through the back, around the tree, and back down. Now, if you're wondering why I call it bowline and not bowlin, that's a whole nother video. Let me know if you'd like me to make that. More good news, we got a trade out of Texas. This one comes from Lee. Let's see what we got. This is the biggest box I've ever received. <laughs> Look at all this. 
If you've never seen, awesomeforsale.com is my small business. It's where I sell all my inventions. This is amazing. Look at all the effort he went through. We have camo. Looks like we have carbon fiber. God bless America. Uh, you know what this is? Hold on, I'll be right back. If you want to keep your drink cold. <laughs> so this goes onto a soda can tab and then you can pop it open. Man, Lee, you really went all out. Look at all this. Holy cow. Oh, this is for a bottle. It even has a seal on it. <laughs> now, who wouldn't want to show their awesome for sale support than by drinking from this mega tumbler? This all came from allyouneedpromos.com. And if you'd like to get a hold of Lee, here's his email. And here's the website. Now, this video is not sponsored by them. Lee is just an awesome guy who decided to do something nice. But I'm more than happy to give you a mention on my channel if that's something you'd like to do. So, Lee, again, thank you so much for all these awesome gifts. I'm definitely going to share them with our subscribers. So, if you order something from awesomeforsale.com, don't be surprised if you find yourself something extra. And you can thank Lee.